It's time for the annual Divers Ready Holiday Gift Guide. Lots to get through in this year's episode, so let's roll intro. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Divers Ready. My name's James. As always, so great to see all of your smiling faces out there. I hope you're all having a happy and safe holiday season, no matter what you're celebrating this time of year. Few things before we dive into what is a pretty significant collection of dive gear that we've amassed this year. Some things that I've enjoyed. Firstly, uh, number one, this is not a sponsored video by any of the brands I'm going to mention. Uh, yes, these are brands that we've worked with before, some of them, some of them not, uh, but it's just gear that I've purely enjoyed or am going to enjoy and thought you might appreciate as ideas or inspiration for the diver on your Christmas list, even if that diver is you. Uh, secondly, this is not a review video. This is simply a list of products, like I said. Um, you know me, when I do a review video, I actually take the stuff diving, I show it to you in the water, I show you how to use it. Um, this is not that, this is all in the studio and me just doing a rundown. Thirdly, James, why no holiday cheer? Why no decorations? Where's your Santa hat? What's going on there, buddy? Well, honestly, uh, I'm recording this at the sort of middle of November. It's gonna go out the day you're watching it, hopefully, which will be uh, Cyber Monday after Thanksgiving. And uh, Karina and I are going away for the holidays. So we left our decorations up in the attic this year. Bar humbug. Yeah, I know, sucks. But you've got me in a gray baseball hat, which you've come to know and love. I mean. Don't get me wrong, just because you don't see the decorations up does not mean I'm not full of the Christmas cheer. Uh, in the meantime, while I get set up for the next shot, you can enjoy this photo of me uh, playing Santa at an orphanage in Cape Town, South Africa, uh, where obviously it's the middle of summer at Christmas time, and I'm wearing a polyester Santa suit, and it's about 105 degrees Fahrenheit outside. I lost a lot of water weight that day, just saying. Right, so let's kick it off with the basics then. Regulator of the year, my recommended regulator, you guys know already, the Dive Right Advanced Open Water Package, simply because it's everything you need for one low price, an amazing performance, and all the trimmings. It's really, you know, a one-stop shop. I've already reviewed this gear, I've been diving it all year. I'll put the link to the review up above if you haven't seen it already. So if you need a regulator in your life, Highly, highly recommended the XT Advanced Open Water Package. Uh, fins, I've been enjoying diving with these Zegel Recons. These are absolutely fantastic. They've changed my diving in a slight way for warm water tropical diving, where I'm using uh, aluminium instead of steel cylinders. These tend to be a little bit more forgiving on my trim than the Apex uh, RK3s that I've been using previously. So really enjoying those fins. They're my sort of fins of the year. BCD of the year goes to this beast here, which is the Dive Right uh, X, the Voyager XT. Sorry, um, I've been diving this as long as I've been diving the regulators. The review for this is filmed, but it's not edited yet. It'll be out on the channel soon, I promise. Uh, but yeah, nothing but good things to say. Just a really hard wearing BCD. You wouldn't know looking at this one that it's already got about 80 dives on it. It looks brand new. So really, really hard wearing. Really good features on this, which we'll get to in the review coming up on this channel. Follow me over here. I always like to include one book of the year. It's a good stocking stuffer and it's always good as a diver to stay on top of your knowledge and just learn more, whether it's taking courses or just reading and increasing your knowledge base. One book that's done that for me this year is Between the Devil and the Deep. This is by Mark Cowan and Martin Robinson and it's an account of a well, one man struggle to overcome a serious decompression illness hit, the bends, uh, in a remote part of Russia. It's an absolutely thrilling read. I literally just got it finished. I have to say thank you very much to my student, Nick Jones, who was actually the one that recommended this book to me. At the time of recording this and when it goes out, this book is not currently available in the US. How did I get my hands on it? I ordered it from the UK. It didn't cost too much more. As with all the products I'm mentioning here, I will put links in the description below where even if you are in the US, you can get a copy of this book. Really, really recommended reading, guys. And onwards. 
Regular viewers of this channel will know that I am on a constant warpath to stay warm while diving. It's not that I'm scared of cold water, it's that I hate being cold myself. So I'm always looking for products that are gonna help me fight the chill when I'm immersed in water colder than body temperature. A Couple of things I've added to my arsenal this year that have helped me do that. Uh, from Bear, as you know, my preferred wetsuit brand. Uh, I don't have a new reactive to show you this year, but I have been enjoying a set of S-Flex gloves. I've got them in the three mil, haven't busted these out of the packaging yet, and I've got them in the five mil as well. Uh, you've seen them in a couple of videos that I've already shot. Super warm, very easy to put on and take off, which I like, and very easy to operate a camera with. Um, so use those most of the way through uh, South Africa, through the sardine run shoot, of course. Uh, and then the ExoWear line. Um, Bear were kind enough to send me a complete set of ExoWear, and I've been wearing it pretty much yeah, since the sardine run, I was using it underneath my reactive wetsuit as an additional layer and uh, just without any wetsuit over the top through the summer. It's just a little bit thicker and fleece lined than a ordinary thin Lycra rash guard, but it gives you a little bit more warmth, a little bit more comfort. Um, and from a price point of view, they're a lot more competitive than some of the other bigger brands that make that kind of non-neoprene insulative dive wear. Your lava cores, your shark skins, those kind of things, they tend to get super pricey. Bear have come out and hit a really, really nice price point with their set. There's tons of availability in terms of different pieces that you can put together, long sleeve, short sleeve, hoods, gloves, uh, leggings, shorts, onesies, the whole thing. So really been enjoying the Exo Wear line. I am gonna do a full review of all the pieces probably further into the winter. Moving down the bench. Also, you guys are probably wondering what happened to my face. In a word, rugby happened to my face. Right, as always, I've got some great lights that I've been using this year and thoroughly enjoying. Great stocking stuff, starting with the CX2 uh, from Dive Right. Really compact, but very, very powerful lightsaber light. Again, a full review will be coming to the Divers Ready channel in the new year. Uh, the one thing that I'll tell you right now that I really like about this light is USB-C rechargeable. Yes, USB-C. Everything is going to USB-C now. So when I see like, those little micro USBs or an old school USB or some weird proprietary plug. Uh, I don't care for it. This is USB-C, it charges off the same thing my GoPro charges off of or nine or 10 other things that I've got in my house. So I don't need to take a ton of cables. Anyway, I'll review the light. I've got some footage of it in the water. I just need to put my thoughts together, but really good, nice lightsaber. I use this as a backup to my primary light on technical dives comes in a nice case. My primary light is still the Solar 2000 Spot Flood. Um, I also enjoy the Solar Dive Pro. As you guys know, I did a full review on that light already. But if you come and take a course with me, if you wanna do an advanced rec course, um, go to some deep, dark, scary places inside of the wrecks, and you don't have your own light, probably by that point in your training, you've got your own lights, but some people forget them or just need a backup or whatever it may be. This is the light I'm gonna give you because it's reliable and it's strong and it's good enough for a full day of diving in some deep, dark, scary places. Comes in a nice carry pouch, comes already with the soft Goodman handle, all that fun stuff. If you're wondering what to get the scuba diver on your gift list, who seemingly has absolutely everything they could ask for, maybe just get them something they don't need, but is just really, really fun to play around with. In which case, I would point you towards the Solar Night Sea. This is a black light, a UV light, uh, for scuba divers to take on night dives to make all the beautiful coral beds phosphoresce. I haven't got that wet yet, but I'm really looking forward to taking it out on a night dive and making a film with it. Right, let's go look at some backplate and wing setups. I have a couple of new backplate and wing setups that I'm in the process of testing for reviews. Uh, Hollis were actually kind enough to send me their entire new range of wings. I've got an ST35 wing for single tank, ST single tank. I've got a double tank or dual tank, 45 uh, with a dual bladder, and they sent me the DT50, dual tank 50, single bladder wing system. They've made some really exciting modifications. Not a lot happens to wing technology. It's basically a balloon inside a casing, right? I mean, how much can you improve on that? Well, actually it turns out quite a lot because these guys have put a lot of thought and effort into actually making wings specific for 
individual divers need. So if you're a dry suit ice diver, there's a wing specifically for that and the type of cylinders you're most likely to be using. If you're a saltwater tropical diver who's in rash garden shorts part of the year in a wetsuit the rest of the year, they've made a wing for that. So their new lineup is really, really interesting. I'm gonna take my time to test dive everything and review it all. Uh, and thanks again to Hollis for sending me all this cool stuff. Um, I've got the new back plate, the new harness system, and as I said, three exciting new wings to try with all that stuff. So if you have a diver on your list who's looking to go from a jacket BCD to a back plate and wing setup, you've got the excellent Voyager XT from Diverite, you've got the ST35 from Hollis, or if they're looking to get technical diving, there's a bunch more options in the Hollis line that you can switch out with an existing harness and back plate. All right, next up we have camera corner, as I'm sort of calling this area of the dive locker. I've put in a lot more storage here to hold all my bits and pieces to go with my massive GH5 camera rig from Nordcam with the Zen underwater dome. All of those are pretty top end gifts. If you're getting that from someone, it's, it's pretty special. But I do have some more affordable options for people looking to get their underwater camera video and photo on. Uh, starting with this package here from Backscatter, which is their new macro wide 4300 lights. Uh, macro wide meaning the ability to do a tight spot on a macro object, something very, very tiny that you want to illuminate, or your general wide angle video light. So I've got two of these in a set with lock line arms and a dual arm tray that I've mounted with the GoPro Hero 10, which as you know, we reviewed earlier in the year and the backscatter flip system, which I've also already talked about in other videos. I'll link that video up above there somewhere. This whole package right now is without doubt the most economical way to get into underwater filming. If you already have the camera, great. The tray, the arms, and the lights are actually on sale right now, always this time of year, from you know Black Friday through to the end of the year. Backscatter are practically giving the house away. So the macro wide 4300s right now, if you just want one light, which comes obviously with two batteries, the charger and all the accessories, mounting options and so on, that's like a hundred bucks off per light, per light. So, uh, there's that option. Then if you wanted to add to that the OS1 optical snoot, which I don't actually have here to show you, but I have it on the way, uh, that's for really getting a nice tight beam on something very small where you want to illuminate an object and black out the rest of the scene to really give sort of pinpoint focus. Uh, those snoots uh, together with the light, I think you save like 150 bucks. You can add the color filters to that. You can get the double two light kit, which I've got here with the lock line arms and the dual tray, and you save like, I don't know, 250 bucks or something like that, it's insane. If you don't already have a camera, if you're looking for a complete setup to get into underwater photo or underwater video, you can get the tray arms, the color filters, the snoot, the double uh, lights, the two arms, and the Olympus TG6, which is one of Mateus Labo's favorite underwater cameras, and the housing for the TG6, and that will save you about 407 odd dollars. Um, it's a pretty decent deal. So if you're like, oh, I really like diving, I think I want to start taking pictures, there isn't a better package on the market right now. Um, I will put the links to all of those in a section of the description below. They've got a ton of other sales going on at Backscatter right now as well. Any mirrorless housing, you can get a free vacuum system for, that's a few hundred dollars of value right there. They've got a sale on Panasonic cameras and their lenses. You know, I shoot a GH5, I'm shooting on one right now. They've got money off of Sony cameras and lenses, money off of GoPros, the flip filter system themselves are on sale. So like I said, they just go crazy at the end of the year and give the house away from Black Friday to the end of the year. It's insane. Go and check those guys out. Tell them James from Divers Ready sent you. Links in the description of the video below. Okay, what else could you give the diver on your gift list this holiday season? Well, the gift of education is always a good one. If you're looking to take a course with me next year, I strongly suggest you get in touch as soon as possible. Uh, you can contact us through our website, which is linked in the description below. Uh, my calendar is filling up, but it's a great 
Christmas present, come and do some courses, come and train here in South Florida, in beautiful Miami, go dive down in Key Largo. Why the heck not? Absolutely beautiful. Or perhaps you want to give the gift of education that doesn't involve you leaving your living room, in which case I would highly recommend my friend and colleague Matthias Labo's Underwater Film School Masterclass series. I will also put a link to that in the description of the video below. I went through that course. I was one of the beta testers for Matthias, and I thought, yeah, I'll go through it and I'll have a look at it and I'll check it for this, that and the other, you know. But I actually learned a ton from the course that I hadn't even absorbed from the osmosis of being friends with Matthias. So highly recommend that course, also linked in the description of this video below. Really appreciate you guys checking out this video. If I give you any kind of inspiration to either add things to your wish list this holiday season or gifts for the diver in your life, please do give this video the old thumbs up. Consider subscribing to our channel, which will, I guarantee you, make you a better scuba diver. And I wish you all a very happy, safe and healthy holiday season with those that you love. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, my name's James. This was your holiday gift guide for 2021 from Divers Ready. Dive safe, dive often.